Let's bring in Coach Mike Westhoff who joins us right now. And, Coach, as I, I read that little tidbit there, you from a coaching side of things and seeing the way the league's going, but especially Odell, what do you think about the union using a guy like Odell as an example of, for young players, this is how you do it? In, in some ways, and, and so I totally understand it in some ways, and I see, I see some good things to it. What I get concerned with is a little bit of the singularness of this whole type of thing, and it distracts and takes away a little bit from the team concept. I know the fact that he's, he's not in an OTA for the particular reasons that he's not there, I, I'm very much opposed to. I understand working with a Chris Carter on position-specific drills. I like that. But also, you know this schedule ahead of time. Why couldn't that be incorporated with in addition to, rather than instead of. That bothers me. I think it's a little bit of a slap at his coaches. I think not. Not they'll get over it, but it's a little bit. But it goes away from that team concept a little bit, and it becomes, you know, what have you done for me, me, lately? And I think sometimes we have to be careful as a business to how far that gets rolling. Well, Coach, and let's not forget either, I mean, and this isn't necessarily Odell Beckham Jr.'s words, but when you have Chris Carter saying, who would you rather have him working with, me, Chris Carter, Hall of Fame wide receiver, or his position coach? I mean, that's a direct slap at the Giants coaching staff, right? Yes. I, I totally agree. What I under, I, I'm not going to demean what Chris Carter can do or has done. Why not use it in conjunction with? Why not go and work with Chris Carter Learn some of the things that you can. Come back to your OTA. Come on, it's a, it's a short period of time. Get on the field with the guys you're going to play with and incorporate some of those very things maybe that you've learned. You know, I, I know when I was coaching at the Jets, and I, and I, I was a little bit, you know, I was, I was cocky enough in what I did. I, I, I couldn't wait to bring Jeff Fiegels after he retired out to, uh, with us to work on directional punting because I thought he was the best that ever did it. I was so happy to do that. I incorporated it. And that, that's where I think it gets a little out of whack, and that's what I have a problem with.